Hi, I'm going to show you how to get started using TiddlyWiki. First, we'll start Chrome and go to 5.tiddlywiki.com. This is the main TiddlyWiki site, and as we scroll down into the Getting Started section, you can see here the first thing it describes is a method of saving that works on almost any desktop browser. It's not the most convenient method, but it does have the advantage of working almost everywhere. So we'll kick off by clicking the big green Download button, now, of course, Chrome asks us whether we actually want to download the file, so we click Keep. And then when we go to the Downloads folder, we can choose to, to rename the file because Chrome's given it a meaningless name. So I'll call it test.html. If you do rename it, you have to make sure that you keep the HTML extension. And now I'm going to open the file in Chrome. Now you can see here that we've got an empty tiddlywiki and I'm going to try creating something and then saving changes to verify that it's working correctly. So we'll create a new tiddler like that and then we'll try and save changes by pressing the save button over here. Now when we save changes Chrome is prompting us again whether we want to keep or discard the file. This is rapidly going to get a pain so Let's discard at this point and quickly change a setting in Chrome that will make this much more convenient. So we go into Chrome settings and then search for the word download. And then just tick the box that says ask where to save each file before downloading. And now we'll get a slightly different behavior when I click the save button. It now prompts us for where we want to save the file. So I select the original version of the file, test.html, then click save and Chrome prompts me whether I really want to overwrite the file. And then you might have been able to see in the Finder window what happened as Chrome saved the file. Now let's refresh the browser window, and if we go to the Recent tab, you can see that sure enough the tiddler we created has been saved. So that's quite cool. That means that we can walk up to any browser, take a tiddly wiki file off a USB stick, make changes to it, save them back to our USB stick, without having access to the internet. Now I'll show you a much more convenient way of doing it which has fewer clicks though and for that we need to use Firefox. So first I'll take the URL of the file that we've been using, go into Firefox, visit 5.dillywiki.com again. Now to make this work we have to download an extension for Firefox and that's here. So I'll open that link and it takes me to the Mozilla add-on store. At this point the uh, TiddlyFox extension is still a beta but I can click here to add it to Firefox, it downloads it. Firefox asks for my approval and now I'll have to restart the browser. And Now I'm back in Firefox and now I've got my TiddlyFox installed. I can verify that TiddlyFox is installed at the bottom of the tools menu as a TiddlyFox menu item. Now I'm going to open the wiki that I saved in Chrome. And you can see here that TiddlyFox is prompting me to ask me if I want to enable TiddlyWiki file saving. I'll say OK and then I won't need to see that dialog again unless I rename the file. Now let's again create a new entry and this one we'll call hello again and once again click the button to save changes. And this time you'll notice that we almost immediately got a save notification up there and there was no shenanigans with having to click dialog boxes. And if I do a refresh in the browser and then go back to recent, you can see that that extra tiddler I added has saved. So there you go, that shows you how you can use TiddlyWiki as a single file in the browser, make modifications to it, and save changes back to your local filing system. And that allows us either to work in a way that's very general and will work on any browser, which is what I showed you in Chrome, or a more convenient way that requires you to put up with some constraints, in this case using Firefox. So there you go, there'll be other video tutorials in this series to show you other aspects of using TiddlyWiki5, but there we are for the moment. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.